Speaking of rats, let's talk about Chef Stu. Oh boy, <laughs> what happened? Uh, oh, he no. has betrayed us once again. I'm sorry to say this. It's um, and I, you know, I say it kind of joking, but I'm not really joking. What it's happened? actually really upsetting. So I've been uh, dating Stu for about 15 months, and for those of you that follow the show, you know that we've had an issue with his ex. He dated someone for three years. His name is Thomas. Uh, Thomas has unfortunately been in our lives repeatedly throughout the 15 months. And if you followed along, it started when um, he had told me he was going to a tennis tournament in Palm Springs with his friends. He told me Thomas was going to be at the tournament, but I found out Thomas was staying in the same house. And that was kept from me. That turned into a huge fight. Then I was told that he is now, because I'm so bothered by it and threatened by it that it was you know he was going to distance himself from Thomas but what happened was a few months later I had found out that they were talking three times a week that is his idea of distancing mm -hmm. that turned into a huge fight then in December when he left uh, his eye watch unprotected at my house and I read the text um, there was a lot of, of uh, communication with Thomas and he had changed Thomas's name in the phone to Scam Likely. Sneaky. Also, I have to tell you something because I've never, ever, ever, because uh, I was so humiliated and embarrassed. But obviously, Stu was mad at me. He and um, Thomas were talking very badly about me and when I oh, read them I'm in the sorry. text. And the one thing that occurred to me is there was something that was really hurtful that I had to get over. And I decided I elected to forgive him and move past it. There was one point where um, Stu said, to Thomas, he's uh, he's mad because you made me happy and he doesn't. Now I um. I chose to I, what I did is I put myself in his position. I thought he's really angry and he doesn't really mean this, but I did move forward and forgive him. Then in February of this year, uh, Thomas showed up at a birthday party that he was not invited to. And uh, it turns out that the boss, Stu's boss, who's also friends with Thomas, invited him. Apparently, Stu didn't know, but I question that now. Um, I was put in a very uncomfortable position to have to speak to this guy. Um, I do believe he was under the influence at the time of what I don't know. But he was very disrespectful to me um, when he started talking about Stu's penis in front of uh, Stu, his boss, his Ooh, bo boss's wife, boss's good friend, and myself. <clears throat> that also turned into a huge fight. Yeah. Uh, I put my foot down. I set a boundary. I said, I don't want this guy in our lives anymore. I went on the radio. I, I detailed what happened that weekend. He told me that um, he no longer speaks to Thomas. Uh, Thomas is furious because- Yeah, because Thomas won't talk to him. You probably. Yeah, so Thomas why. is furious with him. And also, since then, there has been no communication with Thomas. And that um, Thomas is now engaged to be married to some guy in Canada. This is what I was told. I now don't know if that is the truth. Um, all right, fast forward to Sunday. And today is Wednesday. Yes. I'm on my flight to New York. He knows, he knows when I'm leaving. He knows where I'm going. He knows when I'm coming back. Uh -oh. um, a friend of mine said, oh, hey, you know, Stu's at the Ivy and sent me a picture of Stu at the Ivy. But I looked at the picture and the picture was not of Stu. It was just of the restaurant. Now, Stu is pretty vain. He always takes selfies. He'll take a selfie anywhere. And I thought to myself, this is weird that he's taking a picture of the restaurant, the Ivy, which coincidentally is a restaurant where he and Thomas used to go when they were a couple. But the Ivy's the most public place you could go. But Jeff's in New York. To have an affair. Yeah, but, mm. the, but the press is there. Anybody in the press would see Stu, knows who Stu is, and might take the picture. No one knows who Stu is. So anyway, well, and they, do they certainly don't know who because Thomas is. Because of you. Anyway, okay, keep going. So, but it is a very public place. When I see the picture, I look at the chair, and I see a black blazer on the chair. And he had said that he was with his girlfriend from Ireland. And then when I looked at that blazer, I'm like, that's a big blazer. That's either like Tracy Tudor buys like two sizes too big, so that way she can drape it over her shoulder. But I'm like, that's bigger, that's bigger. So um, I just kind of like thought that was weird. So then um, I wanna thank all of my listeners and chumps who protect me because I apparently he moved on to Chaconis which is also another restaurant where they used to frequent when they were a couple. And very public And they were too. at the bar alone. Now, if Thomas looks like a grandpa, it is because he's older. Um, <laughs> he looks a lot older. And I 
don't understand this, but why why he chooses to uh, disrespect me, disrespect the relationship completely. I I mean I he just seems boundaryless. When at this did he point. find out you saw these pictures? Right now? Oh, uh, what happened was <laughs> like right now. No, no. What dropping? happened was on Monday morning, I get a little heart text and I get I miss you, and or was it Tuesday? No, it was Monday. 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 And um, he I was also told that he wanted to surprise me and fly to New York, um, but that was after he spent the whole day with Thomas. And then um, I sent the pictures to him three mm-hmm. hours later, and I said, please don't message me again and there has been no contact since.